Researchers say there's new evidence that different COVID variants can lead to different long COVID symptoms. It's the first time scientists have made such a link. We're going in depth on the study and the implications for the millions of long haulers. I might have a severe headache for a week. Extreme fatigue. I started falling all the time. Long haul COVID is a disease that hits people differently. I can't walk. The brain fog. I could barely roll around in bed. The muscle aches. I just kept uh, smelling the smell. The chills. There are more than 200 documented symptoms. Sometimes I'll just start crying out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Because it's just so hard. Now, a new study suggests some of those differences may have to do with the Greek letter that infected you. Researchers in Italy looked at 428 patients who had been hospitalized with COVID and later developed long COVID. All of them were infected early on by either the initial form of the virus or the first major variant, alpha. The researchers found the two most common long haul symptoms in their study group were fatigue and trouble breathing, regardless of the variant. But beyond that, long haulers infected by alpha were much more likely to report muscle aches, trouble sleeping, brain fog and anxiety. Long haulers infected with the original strain were more likely to report ear, nose and throat problems like loss of smell, difficulty swallowing or hearing problems. I think it's really interesting that the different variants seem to correlate with different long-term symptoms. Um, it's, it's almost not surprising because we know that um, some of the variants had a little bit of differences in terms of their acute symptoms. Dr. Lucy Horton runs the long COVID clinic at UC San Diego. She says other studies have demonstrated that different variants grow better in different parts of the body. Delta grows best deep in the lungs, causing more coughing and fever in the initial stage of the disease. Omicron grows best in the throat and upper airways, causing more sneezing. She says it makes sense those findings would apply to long COVID symptoms as well. But the Italian study did not examine Delta or Omicron. And I think understanding whether those long COVID symptoms are different um, will be really important since, you know, we need to plan for caring for large numbers of patients, especially who are infected during Omicron. The study did find gender plays a big role in long COVID risk. Women were almost twice as likely to report long COVID symptoms than men, something they're also seeing at UCSD. It's been hypothesized that maybe there is a hormonal effect, um, but that hasn't really been proven so far. We know that women have higher rates of most autoimmune diseases. I mean, so if there is that autoimmune link, it would certainly make sense why there is a female predominance. Dr. Horton says part of the challenge of treating long COVID is that there are so many symptoms under one label. But she says with more studies like these, scientists can develop subcategories of long haulers, which will help them find more targeted therapies. Now, there are a lot of long haulers out there. Studies estimate that between 10 and 30 percent of coronavirus patients will experience long COVID.